Hi, Sniffer Bellas. I'm about to do um, the team training at the meeting and I wanted to go live so that you could uh, view it even though you weren't able to show. So um, let me know if you're here and if not, just watch it on replay and please type below replay so I know that you've seen it and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, um, so I wrote it all down. Okay. So, okay, so top five ways to rock your business. These are very important, okay? So, they're not so much in any order except for the number one reason or number one way. Okay, make sure that people know you're a Sensi consultant because they can't buy from you if they don't they know. know. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's some of the ways. You can post on social media if you have a, um, uh, a uh, Instagram and uh, Snapchat and, uh, of course, Facebook. Uh, so that's a great way for people to know. And you don't have to spam them. You just make some posts. And they don't have to be salesy. They can be a picture of you making samples. They can be, a, you know, a picture of a new warmer you just gotten you say, oh my gosh, I love it so much, yada, yada. That's how they know that you sell Scentsy, okay? Brand yourself. Look it, look it. What does our pen say, Rosie? Scentsy. Scentsy. So you're out and about, and you're signing a check, although who signs a check anymore, right? Mm -hmm. But you pull out your pen, and it says Scentsy. Oh, what Scentsy? You have a shirt on. It says Scentsy. What Scentsy? Hat, a bag, something that says Scentsy. Now, I have a Cricut. I am willing to make you the shirts. If you want a shirt or a bag, like a tote or whatever made, if you want to put it on a, di on a diaper bag or whatever, you bring me the Cricut material, and I'll, I'll let you guys know which one is the best. It's the, um, the iron-on. Uh, it's the Sports Pro. I'll, I'll put it down in the comments. But... Um, that's the one that stays the best. I'll show you in a minute. But um, um, basically, I'll make it for you. You just bring me the supplies. You bring me your shirts, whatever you want. We'll make mm -hmm. it. It's actually very quick to do. I don't mind doing it because if you buy it off Scentsy or if you buy it from some of the vendors that do Scentsy, um, because I'm not allowed to sell a Scentsy shirt. Right. It has to be approved through Scentsy and I'm not an approved vendor. So, but you can make your own shirts. That is totally allowed. So if you wanna come over and we'll cricket it, that's totally within compliance and I don't mind doing it. So bring over whatever you want. I'm available during the day, pretty much every day. Let's see, somebody's here. I don't know who it is, but um, I will totally do that for you guys. But I don't leave the house without something Scentsy. And the hats are awesome and they fit nice okay so and that and that's really good for like people who don't know what it is to ask you you know or people who love Scentsy and lost their consultant because their consultant is no longer with Scentsy oh my gosh you love you sell Scentsy I, I love Scentsy but I don't have a consultant then you break out your business card which is something you guys need to have and you can get them cheap cheap through Vista print and Vista Print always, always, always has sales. And um, if you go through um, the Sensi website, through the Sensi Success Store, um, they have we have a partnership with mm -hmm. Vista Print, okay. so you can do that right from your website as well. I mean, I mean from your workstation as well. Um, another thing is, like I said, samples. Hand out samples, and um, you don't need to spend a ton of time making samples because making samples is not income-producing activity. What is income-producing activity is passing those samples out because they do you no good if they're sitting in your house. Right. So if you make a felt sample, it won't melt in your purse because right now it's about to get hot. If you make a full sample of wax, it's going to melt in your purse. But if you make a felt sample and you staple it to um, a business card... When someone has you, hands you a receipt or you're chatting with someone in line, here you go. Here's a sample for you. You know, I hope you love it. It'll make your purse smell good. And then they're like, oh, what's this? 
scentsy? Oh, I love scentsy. Or I've never heard of this, but I like fragrance. That is how you get new customers, okay? Because remember, people are gonna, not going to knock on your door. Oh, hi, Melinda. People are not going to knock on your door and say, oh, I heard you sell Scentsy. You have to go out there and let them know that you sell it. You don't have to push market. You just have to share it, okay? Number four, this one is a biggie for me. Be your own best customer. If you go in any room in my house, what do you see? Scentsy. Now, if I'm a Scentsy consultant and you don't see Scentsy in my house, do I not like my product? Why am I not buying it? You get free and half price stuff. So that is what I recommend you do when you are getting your free and half price stuff. When you have um, orders uh, that you're bundling for your $200 and you have your hostess rewards, get hand soap, get uh, body wash, get the laundry stuff, get the dish soap, get all of the counter clean, have it in your house. Just in my kitchen alone, let's count how much Scentsy I have. Okay, I have two warmers I over there. Two warmers. I have, yep, I have two warmers. I have hand soap, dish soap, yeah, counter clean, counter and a bunch of cleaner and laundry over there. That's just my kitchen, okay? So if someone's coming to visit, everywhere they look is Scentsy because obviously I love the product, right? So if they go, oh, I didn't know Scentsy made a dish soap. Yes, girl, it is so good because it is good, you know, mm -hmm. because obviously if we sell dish soap, but I'm not using it, what is, what do people think? And I have oh, Dawn sitting there. Like oh, not. maybe she doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. If I have, you know, uh, Bath and Body Works, um, uh, hand soap, what are people thinking? Oh, she must not, not that good enough or something. It's not that good. I love it. So why wouldn't you? Use your free and half price for that, you know? Use the products, and guess what? When you purchase the products, like warmers and such, when you do have to spend a little bit of money, you're getting PRV from it, so you're getting commission off of your own stuff. So even if you happen to buy something full price, at least you're getting commission off of yeah, it. You're getting 25% off of it, you know? Or 20 if you're an essential consultant, you know? Um, so why not have that stuff? Every room in my house has Scentsy in it. My bathroom has two warmers. It has a mini warmer, a full-size warmer, hand soap, ba um, bath cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and it has the body wash. Just in my little bathroom. So what does that tell people when they come over? That I love my products, mm -hmm. okay? So that is a huge tip for me. Be your own best customer. And if you are bundling your orders, your local orders, you can get your stuff free and half price. So it's not, and it's stuff that you need for the house anyway, you know? Um, number three, stay up to date. Oh my gosh, this is so important. When is the last time you went on the workstation? and went through the news tab and the marketing tab and all these you know wonderful things that we have on there. We have the training center that has training videos. If you are not checking your workstation at least a couple times a week, you are not doing your business any service at all. You're doing a big disservice to your, to your company because you are not up to date. What happens when you're not up to date? You don't know what is coming. Uh, Toy Story stuff is coming Monday. Did you know that? If you didn't know that, why didn't you know that? You should know that, mm -hmm. right? Now, we know these two buddies are going to sell out fast. Probably within a few days, they're going to be gone. So what are you going to do? Everyone that likes buddies, everyone that likes Toy Story, everyone that likes Disney, everyone that has kids, you're going to let them know, oh my gosh, look what's coming out Monday. It's not going to be here long, so buy it now. I can, you can take pre-orders as long as you put your pre-orders in Monday. Because if you wait too long and it's gone, now you have disappointed customers and it's your fault. So what I do is I let everybody know I take the payment or if it's someone I know that I know is going to pay me, I, I go ahead and, and, and handle it uh, and then they pay me back. But I make sure that on Monday, guess what? I'm placing that order because my people are going to get their buddies. 
it may be around for a couple more days. Yeah, great. But at least I know Here's my people sure. are good to go. Because as you know, other people know, when the buddy is gone, people are like, why didn't you tell me there was a Dumbo buddy? Why didn't you tell me there was a Stitch buddy? Now it's gone and I can't get it. Stitch. <laughs> right. There's a lot of people waiting for Stitch, right? Because they missed the boat on it. That's why it's so important. Because you are their consultant. It is your job to let them know what's available. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is there's times when things are no longer available. Like, did you know that right now the Father's Day bath bundle is sold out? You gotta look at that. You gotta read the news tab. It'll tell you what is uh, back ordered or sold out. Okay, so um, that that's the kind of stuff you need to know. Mm -hmm. You know, especially like when there's bundles that come out because those bundles sell out. So you want to make sure that people know, like, hey, you know, I know that you're probably gonna want this, but you should get it soon because it's gonna sell out, or it may sell out. You know, that way that person's not um, bummed out like, oh, I wanted it and I didn't get it. Another thing is you are taking, you know, party orders and you put it in your party, but you don't submit your party till after it's sold out. Well, guess what? That person's not going to get what they paid for. Right. Because now it's gone. So it's really important to stay in your workstation. Read the news tab. I read it every day. It takes a second to get on your app. And or get on your phone and look at the news tab, see if there's anything new. Okay, so that's important. Uh, watch videos, watch videos on YouTube, you guys. I have a ton of people that I'm about to um, uh, post. Let's see who else is here. Hi, Rhonda. Um, people that I follow. Basically, everything I learned in Sensi, I learned from Jackie Duran on YouTube. And now we are great friends, okay? There are so many amazing consultants that um, make videos, including me. I'm on YouTube. Um, but yeah, there, there's some fantastic videos. You can also watch the training center on the workstation. That's really important. And also the team page. I post videos on the team page. I go live. Um... And I post videos that I find important on YouTube or on, um, you can get on that consultant's uh, page on, um, on Facebook. That's really good. And um, let's see. But like I post them because they're important. You know, I don't go live just to say hi. I go live to give you guys information. So if you're not watching these videos, then... There's not much I can do, you know, like I'm providing you guys information and if you're not willing to take a second to watch it, you don't have to watch it live, but go back and watch it. We all have time. We all say, oh, we're so busy, but you could totally sit your phone on the side while you're doing dishes and watch it. Listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Okay, I'm going to give you a list of people, and I'll, I'll let you copy these people down, okay. that are amazing to watch on YouTube, and you will grow your business big time, okay? So first thing is me, uh, Jackie Duran, Andy Teeter, and I'll make a list, okay, and I'll post it, I'll post it on the uh, team page. Andy Teeter, Laura Godwin, Angela Dalton, Katie Farner. Kimberly Polito, Christina Stainbrook, the BNS channel, Melissa Gratz, and Jennifer Anderson. Now, what you do is you watch a video from each one. You find the people that connect that you connect with. Um, before I found Jackie Duran, I watched a ton of different videos. I found her and I was like, "Oh, this is my girl. Like, we are homies. Like, you you know, when you just see people, you're like, I connect with this person." Mm -hmm. So then you watch their videos. So you may connect with three or four of them, you know. And But these are good ones to check out and see if you like, you know. And what I did was once I found Jackie Duran, I had watched like a couple of her videos. And I realized, oh my God, this girl is my spirit animal. So what I did was I put on the filter uh, um, upload date. I started from her very first video and watched hundreds of videos. 
I mean, I had it going in my car, listening. Because you don't yeah. have to watch yeah. it. You just listen. If you're folding clothes, why do you have the TV on? Why do you not have a YouTube going? You don't have to watch it. You have to listen. Right. They give you so many ideas, okay? Like Melissa Gratz. I posted that video, Fast PRV from Melissa Gratz, okay? And that's another thing. Get on that aha moment group page. Melissa um, who? Gratz, G-R-A-T-Z. Get on that. Uh, you'll see the, the videos that I posted are from a group called the Aha Moment. And they go every, like, two times a year or so, um, maybe one time a year, where they go for, like, 24 hours of consultants going live for a half an hour. And you can watch the previous ones. Like, the one, I think the Fast PRV, I think that was from a previous Aha. I think it was from, like, 18 or 17 but you can go back and watch those. So if you find, let's say you, you like Melissa Gratz, you can type her in the search bar on the AHA Moment page and it'll bring up all her videos. So you can watch all her past videos. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's so important to like feed your brain and learn. Um, one of the things she said is ask people to be product testers. Now I made a, I made a live about this. I did that. I asked people to be product testers. I got about 10 people that said yes. Now, yes, I had to send them free Sensi, okay? But the kicker was they had to be willing to, to post a review of it and tag me on social media. Oh, that's good. Okay, because what good is it giving it to them for free and then you get nothing for it? No, they had to be willing to give me an honest review, which I believe in our product, so I believe it's going to be a great review, and tag me online. What does that do? Now my customer base or people who have eyes on my business has just grown. All the people that they know now know that I sell Scentsy. That is huge, okay? So yes, I gave away a lot of hand soaps. That's, you know, $6. I gave room sprays. Those are $8. But I'm building my customer base. Once everybody gets their products and, and hand lotions and stuff like that, um, then I I guarantee I will get new customers. I tried these. You did? Good girl, honey. Um, let's see. So that is super important. I think I hit everything. Okay. So stay up to date. Okay. And this is another thing that I've already touched on um, with staying in your news uh, on the workstation in the mm -hmm. news tab. Because you need to keep your customers up to date. So it's kind of like a two things, but it's really one thing. Staying up to date and you keep your customers up to date. Because like I said, if you're not telling your customers and they find out that they missed out on something they really, really, really would have wanted, they're going to be like, girl, why didn't you tell me? They're going to be disappointed. And you don't want disappointed customers. You want to do everything you can so you can keep to keep, keep your customers happy. and make them happy because I know I care about my customers. I, I love when they're happy, you know? I love when I show them something and they love it, you know? Yeah, they're going to buy it and then that helps me, but it's not just about helping me. I want to show them things that they're going to love because I believe in our products, okay? Number one, this is the most important thing you can do for your business. Number one, follow up. What is follow-up? It's when you follow up with your customers. <laughs> hey, did you enjoy that sample I sent you? Hey, I uh, haven't talked to you in a while. Do you need any bars? Do you need light bulbs? Do you need a room spray? How are you doing on your washer whips? Which, that's another thing is you should know what your customers are buying. So you know, you know like, hey, it's been a couple months since they bought washer whips. I bet you they're out of washer whips. You know, um... I know they have three, uh, you know, um, mini plug-in warmers, and they haven't ordered any light bulbs. Hey, do you need any light bulbs for your warmers? Half the time they'll say, oh my gosh, yes, girl, the one in my bathroom burned out, and I tried a, a light bulb from Bonds, and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you just, and then what you do is you say, well, you can buy one for $1.99 or a three-pack for 5 bucks. Okay, now you just sold light bulbs. Yeah. So that is really important. And 
you're doing something good for your customers. <laughs> Go ahead, Taylor. She's doing, oh, she had to fix it. Say, you want to say hi? No? Okay. <laughs> this is real life, right? Yeah, yeah. This is what I said about going live. People don't care if you're if you're sitting there and you're perfect. They want to see this. Right. You know, they want to see that you're a real person. Because, like I said before, they're not buying your products. They're buying you. They really are buying you. Mm -hmm. They're supporting you. And then, of course, they love the products. Okay, so back to follow-up. Um, one of the best things, actually the best thing you can do for your business besides paying the $10 a month for the website, because that is enough, like you just have to, because you cannot send your link. Okay. Um, and if you don't have your website, guess what? You can never have a recruit because they have to join through your website. Um, but the number one thing to do is follow up. And the easiest way to do it is with the app called Maven. Maven has partnered with Sensi. And basically from Maven, you can share products that you think people will like. You can literally just text it to them. Um, you can record any samples you send out. And it shows you who bought one, what, and when. So like, let's say someone loves, you can look and say, okay, we're getting ready to have a new uh, catalog. What scents that are spring, summer, that are going away, have people bought? So you can look and say, oh, this person likes Lush Gardenia. They buy it all the time. Well, shoot, Lush Gardenia is not going to be available in September when we get our new catalog. Right. Uh, question. Uh -huh. um, maybe this is obvious, but how do you know which ones are going out for the... Um, if you look and it season. says spring, summer, or like the a lot of the fruities, I know because of just experience, but a lot of the fruity ones um, and tropicals, they're going to be gone. Because they're going to be bringing in spicy and right. like fall pumpkin-y scents. So obviously, if we're in, let's say we're in fall, winter, and there's something called ice pine or pumpkin, and it's going away, because you know that's not going to be in. Right, right. Yeah. So you just kind of have to guess. A lot of them that are, that are fruity are going to be gone. And then they come back and mm -hmm. sometimes they come and back. And we also will find out as well, right before, we'll find out, um, what's going to be discontinued since he usually puts out a um, discontinued list and so yeah, you can wondering. go through the list and see who has and you can actually just look that up on your workstation as well who has ordered lush gardenia who has or you can go down the whole list and find out who's ordered what and let them know and what do you say to them hey lush gardenia is going to be gone in september and i know you love it do you want to put it in your sensi club and they're like, oh my gosh, yes, I, I need that scent all year round, you know? And so then they put it in their Scentsy Club, which that's a whole nother uh, training. And now every month, two months or three months, you're going to be getting orders for this product that you wouldn't have gotten because it would have been gone. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, you got to be proactive. But this app is like eight bucks. But let me tell you, um, I just showed Rosie... I sent, uh, every day you get a list of about 15 to-dos, and I will do a more in-depth um, training on Maven, but it'll give you things to do every day, and one of them was to speak to someone uh, that bought from me about a week and a half ago, and to thank them for their order and see how they're liking it. So I just clicked on her name, I sent her a text, it already puts in text, which you can add more stuff to it, I sent it. Within what a minute, she texted me back, and then I was able to text her back. So I mean, it's really instant, and it keeps yeah, you. You talk to like four people like in a matter of two minutes. In a matter of two minutes, I talked to like four people. I sent out thank yous and and questions and and all of that, and it's so good for your business. You see how you can just send, yeah. you know, like uh, Rosie was saying that she was sending. Um, pictures of uh, warmer she thought somebody would like for their home but maven how easy would that be and if they're not local it already has your link attached to the text or email and now they can order it you know very simple so maven you guys 
How much do we spend on Starbucks all the time? Ooh. Like six bucks for That's one like latte. Like it's like the cost of <laughs> it's like the cost of one and a half lattes. Okay, but what it will do for your business, it will take your business to a new level. If you are serious about having a business, Maven is a must, and it's a tax write off. You see, I thought. Hello, Rhonda. And, um, but yeah, so that is super important. And like what I was talking to Rosie about is if these, if you're not doing these things for your business, then you really don't have a business, you know, like if you are not willing to put in the time to learn, and I just gave you two examples, actually three dishes, driving, laundry, you can be listening to YouTube. That's three ways that you can get information in your brain while you're doing other things. Because you know what? We are all busy. We all, you know, if you don't have kids, you have animals. If you don't have animals, you still have dishes. We are all busy. We are all busy. It's just whether or not your business is a priority. If it's not a priority, then you can't say, oh, it's hard. It's, you know, I'm not making any money. Well, you haven't made it a priority. You haven't done what it takes to make the money. Right. You haven't done what it takes to promote. You know? So if, if you say, well, I haven't gotten any sales. Okay. Well, what I'm thinking and what I'm probably going to say is, well, how many people have you talked to about purchasing Sensi? Well, I haven't gotten any rec recruits. Well, how many, you know, recruiting uh, conversations have you had? Mm -hmm. Well, none. Well, well, how? How are you going to recruit if you don't tell people about the opportunity? You know, how are you going to sell if you have absolutely nothing on that says Sensi and you don't talk about Sensi and you have no Sensi in your house? How are people going to buy from you? They're not. They're going to buy from the person that they see that sells Sensi. You know, so it's all about being proactive and looking at this as a business. This business will make you as much or as little as you put into it. If you do nothing, you will get nothing. Right. And you can't be upset because it's not Sensi's fault. They're doing their job by giving us amazing graphics, amazing products, keeping us up to date on that awesome workstation. Um, my daughter and I actually were part of another um, uh, company uh, a couple of years ago, and their workstation was horrendous. It took me three hours to submit one order, and they overcharged somebody. Wow. Yeah, and then I was on the phone for two hours and 45 minutes to get it fixed. Two hours and 45 minutes, that is not a typo. Okay, you call Sensi, you're on the phone on hold for maybe a minute. Yeah. And they're always nice, and they're all, they always Even are. that live chat. Yeah, that's it's so, amazing. so cool. And I they're love, always telling you like how great you're doing. Right yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, so Sensi provides... Everything we need. You get everything you need in your starter kit, really, that you need. Everything else is you. Even if you got the $15 starter kit, you could rock those 15 cents and that one warmer. You just have to share Scentsy. It is not about what you have. It's about what you do with what you have. Ooh, that was good, right? <laughs> what? Okay, so that's super important. Maven, if you're going to do one thing for your business, purchase Maven, please. And like I said, if you want some shirts, bring your shirts over. Um, I'll, I'll let you know um, the, the, the stuff to bring. And you can bring your colors, whatever you want. And we'll, we'll uh, create it for you. And I'll show you how to do it. And you, even if you have more than one, I'll show you how to do it. And you can create whatever the heck you want here with my Cricut. And I have a heat press. And you can have shirts. You don't have to spend a lot of money on shirts. You don't have to order from all those other companies mm -hmm. that charge $28 for a shirt. You know? I got my shirts for $8 at um, Target. The nice, comfy shirts. Yeah. Or you can... Sometimes they even have the shirts, the cheapy shirts, uh, the boxy, plain, like, uh, unisex shirts. They have them sometimes for $2.50 at Michael's. Mm -hmm. Five bucks. 
Then you grab the Cricut material and you could probably make about four, three, four shirts out of that Cricut material. Nice. You know? On my purse, I have Scentsy. My purse is one of those Vera Bradley purses, so they, it's material. Mm -hmm. And I put Scentsy on it. Shoot. People always say, oh, I like your Scentsy purse. It's not a Scentsy purse. I made it a Scentsy purse. Mm -hmm. Guess what's on my lunch bag? I bought a lunch bag from the 99 cent store, but I paid, I think it was $2.99. And I put Scentsy on it. Nice. Easy peasy. Those little things, using a Scentsy pen, those little things get people looking. Hmm, what is that? You know? So that to me is the biggest thing you can do. Those those five things, but the number one is follow-up. If you're not treating your customers well, they will go to someone else. If you're not reaching out to them to see if they need something else, they're either not going to order or they will order from someone else. Right. And that's just fact. This is a business. If we don't like our service in one place, we go to another. Very true. Right? You're like, if i got to hunt you down to get my, my order that I ordered from you, and i got to wait two weeks, why would I order from you when the girl down the street sells it and brings it over to me at, right after she got it? Mm -hmm. Right? It's all about customer service. You treat them well and you follow up with them, and they will help you with your business. And that is facts. Don't think that your friends and family are going to run your business for you because they will not. They will buy from you maybe once, maybe twice, but they will not. Don't feel like they are like you're entitled to their business. Right. Because I have, do I have anybody from my family? That, I don't even think I have any family that buys from me. But you know they're buying candles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know they're buying dish soap and all, but they're not buying it for me. So if I just said, well, I talked to my family and friends and they didn't want to buy. Okay, now what? So now what? That's what do you true. do? What do you do? You just going to give up? You can be a quitter. It's okay. That's not my style. I always bring up Sensi. Not in a pushy way. But if I, if I have my hand, you know, if I'm going to pull out my hand lotion, you better believe I'll be like, oh, girl, you need some hand lotion? When I'm talking to my friends. Then they're like, oh, man, this smells, oh, it feels good. Guess who's ordering hand lotion? Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Facts. You have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to try new things. And you know what? If you try something and it fails, so? So now what? Quit. Try something else. Try something else. That's what you do. Okay, that didn't work. That was a bomb. You know what? Let's move on. What billionaire has not failed? They have failed, and they have failed many times. They keep trying Right? Yeah. So it's all what you want from the business. I am not here to force you. I am not here to push you. I am not here to spoon feed you. I am here to be the best leader that I can be, give you all the information. That's my job. What you do with that information, that's your job. If you don't want to do this business, I can't, I can't make you. I, could, I can want it for you all day long. I see potential in all of you, but if you don't see the potential and if you're not willing to do it, then there's not much I can do. I can hope and give you information and support you and be your best cheerleader, but it's on you to do the things it takes to have a successful business. And that is just the way it goes, you know? We're all busy. I don't expect everyone to be here. I don't expect everyone to watch live. We're all busy. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what. If you're busy all day and your kids go to sleep at 8 o'clock, you should be watching this later. Mm -hmm. You know? Sure. Right? So anyway, 
that's pretty much it. I'm going to show Rosie some more stuff. Um, but thank you for joining me and watching. Please, if you're watching this um, on the replay, type replay below so that I know that you have seen it. And I'm going to be posting this on YouTube because I think it had some valuable content. And um, and not just for Scentsy. It's with any business. This, this stuff can work literally... If you have a brick and mortar store or if you have if you sell posh or leggings or jewelry or anything this would help with literally any business mm -hmm. I mean because it's all about what are you gonna do for it how bad do you want it all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off and oh yeah it says Rosie Felix is watching <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.